what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here to talk about several things in this video here today talking about scream 6 jeepers creepers 4 the strangers and then going on about joker 2 and some casting information that came out recently so starting off with scream 6 melissa barrera had a sit down in an interview that was completely in spanish so any of my spanish listeners clue me in on, on whether she said this or not but she had a sit down with javier poza i'll leave a link to the entire video if you want to listen to it and translate in the comment section for me because again i'm very ignorant but shout out to you jojo uh you translated that she stated in this video that she will be in canada for another month filming scream which has led many people to think that oh they're not going to be done filming this movie until september now i don't think that's necessarily the case i think what could be happening is that the movie will end up finishing filming either earlier mid this month or late august and melissa barrera for whatever reason will not, will just not leave till september she's gonna be in canada for another month she did say that she would be in there for another month filming scream six but i i don't really think that the movie itself is gonna go into production beyond august or be in production beyond august i think they're gonna wrap this month and for whatever reason melissa barrera might just be sticking around till september for other reasons maybe packing up maybe exploring some other things that she didn't get to see while they were filming or due to filming so there might be something like that going on i don't think that they're going to be filming this movie till september but i could be wrong uh because they do still have to make that march release date because so far that movie hasn't been delayed it's still coming out march 31st so we'll see if they actually are going to be filming till september one way or another very shortly because i do still think that they were supposed to wrap this month just late august instead so talking about the strangers three or not the strangers three but the new strangers three four and five i guess we could expect roy lee sat down with bloody disgusting again on the boo crew podcast and stated that the next three entries of this franchise are going into production next month no details about what the story is going to be and no details about who could be starring in it but he did tease that the filmmaker that's involved is someone many of us would know or it's someone who is well known so now bloody disgusting is reporting because i guess they did some digging they did a report earlier this morning to let us know who is directing at least one if possibly if not possibly all three of these upcoming stranger movies so rennie harlan is on board to direct one again if not all three brand new upcoming sequels in the strangers franchise if you're not familiar with this individual they have brought to you a nightmare on elm street for the dream master and they've also brought to you deep blue sea i think many of you might be more familiar with those two movies but they also brought covenant to us uh they did that exorcist movie in 2004 the exorcist the begin the beginning and devil's past now honestly if this individual is directing all three of course there's going to be a different style to it just like how we had a different style with pray at night but what i'm hoping is they are able to fuse the elements of pray at night and that original movie that love letterness to the 80s that we got in pray at night but bring back some of that more constant feeling of dread and unease and that slow burn that we got from that original movie which i would say is a hundred times more terrifying as well i would love to see that fused in this new trilogy that's coming up again hopefully over the course of the next coming months we'll get some new updates on it and with filming set to start next month we should have other new details like cast and story details sooner rather than later but jumping into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 has finally started releasing some official images and we've gotten a better look at that cult that we can expect the creeper to have what you see here on your screen now is a better look at jaru benjamin in makeup an official still that has been shared by screen media of him as the creeper in jeepers creepers 4 and again there's an image that's now been released giving us a better look at the cult and i will 100 percent say i think that d wallace is in this cult going off of this more clear image that's out here now uh as far as the makeup that we have of jaru benjamin that you see here on your screen again i need to see the movie in and of itself in final form before i can continue to pass judgment so far i'm not a fan of the look but i have i have hope that what jaru brings to the table as the creeper will be able to make me look over that because he'll give us a very terrifying and menacing performance that will pay respect to what jonathan breck has given us over these past three movies that we got previously so here's a shot of the creeper truck uh i'm assuming that the creeper truck in the movie will indeed be something that jack taggart located and kept nearby at the farmhouse or somewhere nearby his farmhouse and maybe he was profiting off of that in some way i i, I hope we get something like that in the movie that'll be a nice little tidbit to throw in there to say that 
attacked found the found the creeper truck took it to his barn and that was another thing a part of the creeper that he just continued to profit off of but this next image you see here on your screen right now again is showing you d what looks like clearly is d wallace <laughs> i would say a part of this cult if it's not d wallace then it's just not d wallace and this cult angle could be hit or miss honestly the cult stuff the creeper having a cult of people who maybe have grown over the past 20 years seems realistic and maybe they found some history of people worship worshiping him in the past and they've been waiting on his arrival maybe that's the narrative they're gonna go with but the last thing i want to talk about is joker 2. zazy beats who we know started in joker as sophie the single mother neighbor who we saw author imagine himself with is expected to reprise her role in the movie as well deadline reported this saying that they have it on good authority that she's in talk to be back her fate, to my knowledge, was pretty unclear, but Todd Phillips eventually revealed that she survived. Now, she's actually backed the musical aspect of the sequel, stating that she thinks it makes wonderf wonderful sense. She went on to state that Todd always had a creative approach to the character and stated she loves musicals. She says she can see the singing and dancing being used to express everything the characters are feeling, whether it be in sorrow or joy. I can see Arthur, who is feeling and experiencing so much dancing and singing. He's the Joker, so I think it makes sense. Production on Joker 2 is expected to start in December with an October. October 24 release plan as reported a few days ago I completely overlooked that December filming so I'm glad I came across this as well they're gonna start shooting it this uh, December so we should have more news sooner rather than later on this project as well her thoughts on the musical aspect do kind of open my mind to what we could see I'm thinking that maybe her role in the movie will be Arthur just continuing to imagine himself with with the character of Sophie and he'll have musical moments in his head thinking about her I already went on about Gaga who we know is starring as Harley Quinn having moments in her head where she's fantasizing about her running off with Arthur after she eventually will help him escape the asylum the musical aspect being used to express the character's emotions I feel like honestly was also hinted at briefly with what we saw in that original movie with with Arthur dancing and that brief moment on the stairs so if they're going that route where the dancing is being used to represent the emotions the characters feel I'm all for that and I like her outlook on that aspect and I hope she's back in the movie and we get to see more of Sophie as a character and honestly she might just be a, uh, another imitation or just imagination in Arthur's mind but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description I have links to social media because on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies and reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video